guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the first episode of the wedding series. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna call it yet. You guys probably saw it in the title of the video. So I hope you like it. <laughs> I'll come up with it today. My intentions were to have the post cheat day video up first, um, but you guys know I like to post videos frequently and because we did the cheat day over Memorial Day weekend, we had plans like basically all weekend. We had his sister's graduation party on Friday. We did the cheat day on Saturday. Sunday we had like our volleyball tournament. We did something else during the day, I can't remember. And then Monday, Memorial Day, we had two different cookouts to go to. Although I definitely ate closer to my macros, I know I was a little bit off. So I wanted to give it like a full week um, just because if I were to only do four days, there was like definitely, like Monday, I ate over my macros a little bit, so I know that. And I didn't necessarily drink enough water, so long story short, I wanted to give it a full week so we could see how my body responds properly. And I finally got back into the gym yesterday. It felt so good. I posted that entire hamstring and glute workout on Instagram, so you can go and check that out. It's a swipe workout, you can save it. I'm about to train one of my clients, and then I'm gonna head to the gym and we're going to train triceps. I told Jake yesterday I really wanna get back to a like a normal workout schedule. I really enjoyed challenging myself, trying different workouts like with his other group that did more of like a, um, it was almost more CrossFit style. I don't know, anyway. We're gonna get back to a normal routine. I do best when I have a routine I can stick to and follow. I'm way more motivated, way more driven when I know I can stick to something. So I'm really excited to get into this series. I hope you guys are as well. I started off my morning with that egg white bagel sandwich I've been making with avocado. So good. We're out of turkey bacon. That's fine. I do have to go back to the store probably to, no, I have chicken. We'll see. We might have to go back to the grocery store, get some groceries. I've been like living off of chicken salads recently. I don't know why those have tasted so good, but they have. Yeah, enough blabbing. I'm gonna go train my client and let's just get right on into the video. bombs here we go uh nope 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 turn around <laughs> we had to take a little bit of break so that we could uh do a little bit of work on kelly's shoulder but what's happening is we're going to go into an overhead tricep extension um we have two separate um of the smaller um extension handles what we're doing is we're going to try and keep them a little bit further apart normally when you have a, uh, a bar, you don't have to worry about the width or anything like that. So we actually have a pronated grip as if she's holding a bar, but she's keeping the handle separate the entire time. Um, we are gonna be going uh, not full extension uh, and stretch, uh, but what we're gonna do is full extension, we're only gonna bring it back about 75% of the way. Extend out, back, good, extend out, look at that. That's good. So what we're doing is tricep day, a little bit of conditioning, um, and depending on where the uh, shoulder mobility stands with uh, person to person, have your elbows a little bit wider than normal. How you feeling, Jeff? All right. So we're gonna go um, over to the assault bike. Um, this is her active recovery. She's not um, having a set amount of rest. She's taking, and I told her to walk with intent. 
So she's coming over. Um, normally it's gonna take about 20 seconds to get over to an assault bike or the Airdyne. Um, and what she's doing, she's gonna hit five calories as hard as she can. Super, super quick, something to just mildly spike her heart rate. And look at that, five cal, bada bing, bada boom, nice and short. Uh, but that little burst or that little spike uh, should get her uh, heart rate up just a little bit or at least enough to kind of come through. <clears throat> so what she's doing, what's up Rachel? So, <laughs> So what she's doing is she's uh, she's coming through um, with her heart rate mildly elevated, and then she's going right back into another set. So what it will be, and I don't know if I explained this the first time around, but she has uh, 22 and a half pounds on. She's shooting for 30 reps, and as soon as she cannot fully extend or contract rather, um, and get into it, then she drops weight. But only when she hits that ceiling, uh, she wants to make sure that we're really, really uh, contracting that tricep and most times a lot of people under train um, so they don't actually hit their full potential because they're not hitting their I call it the ceiling so if you're not hitting the ceiling you're not gonna see the biggest potential and here uh, we are all about hitting that uh, highest potential full amount of potential that you got um, just see the best results so Kelly's cranking out another one again pronated now as you get more and more tired oh see there you go it gets harder and harder to keep those handles together. Um, but that's the beauty of it. So because you have to worry about stability, it works your shoulders, triceps a little bit harder. Um, it's good for you. And there she goes. really good got my smoothie and then I sat out at the pool for like 20 minutes um, it's gonna rain probably like any minute now but I caught up on some messages answered comments got back to some text messages from clients and yeah I figured might as well lay at the pool why not I don't remember exactly what Jake was saying while he was explaining the workouts we were doing like the different exercises but I wanted to just touch on something. Most times, a lot of people under train, um, so they don't actually hit their full potential because they're not hitting their, I call it the ceiling. So if you're not hitting the ceiling, you're not gonna see the biggest potential. And here, uh, we are all about hitting that uh, highest potential, full amount of potential that you got, um, just to see the best results. That is something that is like, very important and people don't necessarily think about it all the time. I know I've talked about this before. I don't know if it was on here or on Instagram. So we're just going to touch on it real quick. You could do the exact same program I do and not see the same results. You might see better results. I could do the same program that uh, IFBB Bikini Pro does and not see the same results. One, we all have different genetic potential, so that's going to play a huge factor. Two, and the main reason I wanted to talk about if you're not pushing yourself to that same level that that person is, you're not gonna see the same results. If you're going into the gym and constantly using the same weights over and over and over again, you're not gonna see the same results. You're not gonna be building as much muscle as you were hoping to. Um, if you're not going to failure when you're supposed to and you can't handle that level of discomfort, you're not gonna see the same results. Now, not everyone can handle the same amount of pain, discomfort, etc. but, I just see there's the one reason I don't love doing the swipe workouts on Instagram is because people will just randomly like go through and do a bunch of random workouts so the programming is non-existent basically they're just following random um, random workouts from this person and this person this person so there's no rhyme or reason to anything um, hopefully they're at least following a same like the correct split but doing something like that you're going to see results something is better than nothing that concept applies to this. For the general public, you're gonna see results, but if you're someone who is looking to be in bodybuilding or really like, really zone in on, you have this specific goal of building your shoulders, you have this specific goal of like, wanting to be a certain percentage body fat, like, you're gonna have to do more than just random stuff, and you're gonna have to push yourself harder than just going into the gym, getting in a quick workout, and leaving. You're gonna have to give it more of your time and energy. Um, so yeah, 
just because you follow one of my hamstring and glute swipe workouts doesn't mean you're gonna have the same looking legs and glutes as I do. I've been working on my hamstrings and glutes for a very long time. Now, if you push yourself and stay consistent and work hard every single time you go in the gym and start training your legs consistently, maybe you will get there. Our legs will always look a little different because same thing, different genetic potential. Everyone's, you know, shaped a little bit differently. Our bodies are just different. But you can't follow someone's workout and inspect, expect to get the exact same results if you are not one, working the same, and just, you know, the fact that we're all a little different anyway. So, make sure you're doing exercises correctly. If you're confused on something, look it up. We have the internet, which is amazing, to where you can literally type in anything you want on Google. Let's head home. I need to get some work done. I actually have a lot of work I need to get done on the computer today. Have my same big salad I've seriously been eating this like every single day um, super easy to make helps me get my protein in and then I'll usually have some kind of like high protein shake or protein ice cream you know make one of my waffles the ice creams so anything like that um, but this has just been tasting so good to me It is literally almost nine o'clock. I have been working on an intro, trying to make a new YouTube banner, and I was originally trying to like put together a little picture to go at the end of the intro that ended up taking way too long. I couldn't get Photoshop to do what I wanted it to do, and so much of the night went by. I did make protein ice cream. That tasted amazing. I had someone ask me about that. It's just one scoop of whatever protein. The Bomar protein does work really well. Same thing with like baking with it. They created their proteins with the intentions of baking, doing fun stuff with them. So they just work really, really well. Um, I always use blueberry cheesecake because it just tastes so freaking good. I feel like protein frosted cookie would make amazing ice cream as well. And then if you wanted to like top it with something. Um, so I had that, it's just one scoop of protein, um, ice, cashew milk or almond milk, and a little bit of xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is what helps make it thicker, like a thicker consistency, more like ice cream. So I had that with a little bit of light Cool Whip and had a measured out serving of my Icon Meals popcorn. I'm actually really, really proud of myself. I just made a post on Instagram today too, like going into this summer, I'm already in a completely different spot than I was the past two years. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I did bikini preps the past two years and I was just coming off of competing when summer came around and after show, it's really hard to like find that balanced lifestyle again where you eat healthy. Like I couldn't get back to the 80-20, it took me forever and this year it's just a lot feels a lot better going into summer knowing that i have a really good mindset with everything and i'm already happy with how i look not that i wasn't happy before i just wasn't comfortable in my body like i knew i wasn't fat or anything i just you know when you're not comfortable in your body clothes fit tighter i wasn't performing as well in the gym so overall i'm super stoked where i am right now going into summer and the whole rest of this series is just gonna be amazing. I assume I'll lose like five pounds, maybe, by the wedding. I don't think it would be any more than five pounds. Um, yeah, I, I maybe like, I weigh like around 145 right now, so maybe 140 by the wedding day. We'll just, we'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna go based off of how I feel 
and I just want to enjoy this entire process. I want to enjoy everything with Chris. I want to enjoy our time up at the lake this summer. We have like the busiest summer that I think we've ever had before. We have something almost every single weekend. So even if I did want to do like shredding for the wedding and get crazy about it, it would be so hard, basically impossible. So I already told you guys, my goals are just to basically maintain. And then, like I said, maybe up to five pounds, but I feel like this was a pretty boring first video of this series. I promise the next couple ones will, or all of the other ones will go be. Go give me a like on Instagram. Oh, Chris made his first post on Instagram in like three years. So make sure to <laughs> go give him a like. Uh, if you don't already follow him, you have to request to follow him. And he has a total of what, like six pictures now? Five pictures now? <laughs> He literally hadn't posted in like three years so it's just not his thing which I mean I don't care but what are your goals for the wedding like are you planning on like fitness goals yeah not anything specific don't have any think about guys is as long as you don't have like a gut you're gonna look pretty similar so so the goal is to not have a Dorito gut Goals by the time the wedding weight. comes around. Well, okay, so quick, just a little update. You Have you been stressed at all with wedding no. planning so far? We got so much done in the beginning that we really haven't had to do much recently and the stuff that has had to be done, I've done it. Tomorrow we are going to our second meeting with our wedding coordinator um, at the venue that we're using. He was not there last time, so I'm excited to like finalize more details i'll obviously bring you guys along what do you still have to do you have to get suits yes he's also in charge of who's marrying us and so far he has not found that <laughs> yes so that i have I mean, that's big there's one there's one that i'm pretty sure is going to be a go i just haven't been able to get in contact with him yet the one that your parents sent you yeah well big update on the bachelor party situation oh yeah it is completely changed so oh from what I was going to be happy about this one. Well, we're going to four strip clubs, and that's going to be it. So it's going to... No, I'm just kidding. Um, so funny. It was originally Nashville, Labor Day weekend. But... Uh, it's probably packed. One of my uh, groomsmen, my best friend since second grade, he was at... He was in Nashville this past weekend, which was Memorial weekend, and he said it was crazy and expensive. So he advised... Him and my brother are the ones planning it. He advised against that so now we're back to my original idea original couple ideas i think you guys will have actually the one idea. he had a really good idea which i think would be a blast gatlinburg i've heard gatlinburg is a lot of fun let me know in the comments what you think or just going to get a cabin in hocking hills or bourbon trail and relaxing so i think that'd be fun any of those where's gatlinburg kentucky i think maybe it's tennessee too 56 likes already, guys. <laughs> Woo! When was the last time you posted? I'm pretty sure it was a competition picture from the first year I, I competed. Was, it was our, our anniversary, our like seven, six year. It was so July, it was, it was June, June 2nd. June 2nd, 2017. Yeah, 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 yeah. So getting up there right about two years ago. So Denver yeah. Gatlinburg is will in you, Tennessee, so yeah. Will you be in some of these videos with me so you can update, we can, since this is wedding sure. related? Yeah. Okay, that's probably going to be it for this video. Sorry there wasn't uh, much going on, but, you know, if there's any fun, like, wedding-related videos you'd like us to do, comment down below. I'm excited for this whole series. I think it's going to be a blast. We have three and a half months. Like, uh, in all seriousness, that is crazy. really not... Look at this. 108 days. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy to me. Wowzers. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, sorry this video is not the most exciting to start off this series, but I had a pretty busy day work-wise just sitting at my computer, so there really wasn't much to record. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. The, what's it called? Like post cheat day video will still be coming in, or still be coming up, so that will be thrown in here somewhere. Okay, <laughs> bye.